Right guys, what's going on? So it's new van day for me today. I finally decided to sell my car, put it up for sale and find myself a van that I can use for the channel for bikes, motorbikes, e-bikes, all that kind of stuff. There's only one catch. This van has done, I think it's 262,000 miles. It's an old XAA van which has been painted black about 10 years ago. As you can see, it's absolutely disgusting. <laughs> I'm going to take you in in a minute for a closer look, but I'll just tell you a little bit about the van first. It's a 2.5 TDI. It's my second. I've had a T5 um, Volkswagen van before, but really didn't like the 1.9 engine, so I wanted the 5 cylinder 2.5. It's got a lot more grunt than the 1.9. Now, the story behind this van is I wasn't put off by the miles because the guy that bought it has had the engine rebuilt with all new seals, all new timing belts. He's had a new clutch put in it. He's done loads and loads of bits to it. It does look like a dog though. So I'm kind of excited and disgusted at the same time. Let me show you why. I mean, it needs a wash for starters. And then I've got to deal with looking at what problems there are and rust and stuff. But straight away, you can see both of these front tires are absolutely bald. So that's going to be one of the first things we do today. A little bit of rust coming through on the arches. Take you around to the back arch. Feels like it's mostly metal under there, but a bit of rust coming through. The side door is absolutely knackered. This rubber seal on the side door is completely perished. <sighs> the hinges on the door are completely buggered. So you have to slam the door and lift it up and push it in at the same time. But don't think it's meant to do that. Right, on the plus side, we've got side windows both sides and we've got a double seat, which may leave, there probably ain't enough room for a motorbike, I'm not sure, but um, there's a bit of room down the side there. Not sure what it's like underneath this carpet, but the guy was using this for roofing or something, so it's absolutely disgusting inside. Let me open them back doors so you can actually see. Talking of the back, look how dirty it is. Filthy, absolutely filthy. So, got a bit of rust coming through. A bit of rust coming through around the window rubbers. Hopefully nothing too bad. Same story on this side. Absolutely filthy. A little bit of rust around the wheel arch. Front tyre. It's about good for drag racing, that's it. Them front tyres are six points, so Gonna take that straight down to the tyre shop now, get that done. Front end not too bad. I bought a load of parts of this which I'm gonna be doing in the next video, but like these indicators are just so discoloured. I'm gonna be sorting all that out. This is definitely gonna be a bit of a project, this one. You can see signs of it being a yellow AA recovery van at some point. Let me get the back doors open so you can see. So there's the back guys, absolutely filthy inside here, just look at that, it's just gross in here, absolutely gross. On the plus side, got a um, tow bar, some sort of aftermarket exhaust, got a roof spoiler, that's a nice little result. It's clearly not got standard seats in it. And I messaged about 10 friends saying, what do you think these seats are out of? Um, I'm going to tell you at the end of this video, but if anyone wants to leave a comment before then, what they think these seats are out of, they're actually quite comfortable. They've got quite, you know, sporty lumbar supports. Glove box, clearly. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> oh dear. Door cards. Nicotine yellow. I mean, this thing has been smoked in quite some. It's had a quite a lot of smoking inside this. I don't even know if this is coming out on camera, but they are so yellow and discoloured. Oh, just what I forgot to mention. Why in the back? Look at the dog hairs. Look at the dog hairs and grime. Oh, it's just gross. Absolutely beautiful carpet in the back. 
it's going to have to come out. The, uh, I believe that's the main bracket on the sliding door that's actually buggered. I don't know if it's coming out on camera, but um, it's not even in the runner. So I'm getting a full kit of uh, a full kit of top, middle, sorry, top, middle, and bottom slider to fix that. Back to the interior. I didn't realise when I viewed this and put a deposit down the other night just how grubby it is. How gross is that? There's actually crust formed on the seat belt. It's fucking disgusting. That is enough to put anyone off their dinner. I feel like I need to drive this thing with rubber gloves on. It's actually gross. Held together with gaffer tape. I mean, just crust on everything. It's absolutely... Disgusting. The fact that I've actually got to try and put my hands on this steering wheel is making me feel a little bit ill. Let alone touch the dust and grime anywhere on the dashboard or on anything in this vehicle. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Looks like I might have to do a little bit of a repair on the runner to see the edges uh breaking away. It's a shame because apart from that I could have just wire brushed it but I might have to uh, get a little bit extra plate put on that by a welder. Driver's side. Beautiful isn't it? Absolutely lovely. Don't even want to hazard a guess at some of the stuff that's on this van. It's absolutely gross. Looks like there's a fuse box cover missing. Steering wheel looking like it has done every single bit of 262,000 miles. I do like them seats though. I'm not sure if they're dark brown. They look like they're dark brown with red piping on it. Or are they black? Honestly, you can't actually tell if them seats are dark brown or black. But better than the standard ones. This is how the wheels are looking for the uh, offset on the wheels. I mean, that front wheel is pretty much almost flush to the arch. I would say by eye, that doesn't need any more personal preference than a 10 mil spacer. I like my wheels to sit flush. See, my Mercedes has got 20 or 25 mil spacers on the back. And I just think that sits a lot, lot nicer. So yeah, fronts I don't think, front 20 mil I think is gonna be too much. They're gonna poke out the front too much. Different story at the back though. I would say those 20 mil spaces are going to be perfect on the back. So let's get to the tyre shop and see if they'll fit the spaces on the back and just change the tyres at the front. Look at that back wheel compared to the arch. The front one sits nice. I'm not that happy with the back wheel. So Gabby's coming with for the ride. You ready? You ready? Right. So in this box, brand new alloy hub centric spacers and extra long wheel bolts so gonna use just a pair of them on the back hopefully let's get down that tire shop right it's definitely a knack to closing the side door at the moment let me show you This van is having two brand new tyres this morning. We're going to go now, get two new tyres on it. What I have bought is some 20 mil hub centric spacers. I don't absolutely love the wheels on it, but just want to fill the arches a bit more for now on the cheap. So I bought a set of four 20 mil spacers, but now I've got the van back home. Don't think you even need spacers on the front or you're not going to fit any more than 10 mil. On the back, you'll definitely be able to fit 20 mil spacers. We're going to go to the tyre shop, two brand new tyres, going to see if they put the spacers on the back and I'll show you a before and after and then we're going to go to the hand car wash and see if they can either give it a wash inside and out or an actual valet depends on what we've got time to do today but I can't deal with it being that dirty Right, 
So we're at the tyre shop now. Um, brand new 215517XLs in the front. I think it's got car tyres all round, but I'm going to go with XLs just because of the uh, size and weight of the van. And that back wheel, you can see on the floor there, it's got brand new alloy up central spaces. We've got two long bolts. It's just going to make the back end sit a bit flusher to the arch. Hopefully, we'll see the pour and after in a minute. It looks alright on the passenger side. But the driver side. It's a little bit of oil, not a lot. But can anyone tell me? Is that just a rubber cover or what? What is that? Looks like it's going over the pipe that I don't even know what it is. Is that just going over a anti-roll bar or something, so I haven't got a clue. See a little bit, a little bit of oil on the floor. Hopefully this thing isn't leaking oil all the time. I've just spent £700 fixing an oil leak on my car that I'm selling to buy this. Good idea straight away of the fitment. I think, I think it's going to be about right on that, 20 25 mil make it sit a bit more equal to the front. There we go, fresh new tyres on the front, 20 mil hub centric spaces on the back. Tires look a lot better, it's sitting a bit high at the back, might get it lowered a little bit, we'll see, I don't want to go crazy on it but Them back wheels sit a lot better than they did before, in my opinion. It's not everyone's cup of tea, having them flush the arches, but I think that looks a lot better. Looks about right, doesn't it, I uh, guess? Wheel gap, arch. Yeah, and going down, you still got like a little bit more, you probably could go out, but you feel alright. It's got like a uh, feel legal and that, so you feel good. Yeah, yeah, about perfect, hopefully. See what it's like when it's settled down after being valeted and driven around for a bit. Right, as you can see, the guys here are really, really busy, but the best they can do, they haven't got time to valet, which is a real shame. I'm going to, I think I'm going to have to buy some like nicotine cleaning product or something because it's gross but for now I'm going to get the outside washed and they're going to hoover up the inside, lift up the carpet and put in black bags for me ready to take away so that's still a, that's still a lot better right you know if there's any time left today I'm going to um, at least or if not first thing tomorrow morning like wash down all the plastics but if we can get the outside clean that's pretty good going today. I'm going to go off to the cafe with Gabby now grab a coffee and leave these guys on it for an hour, see what they can do. Right guys, it's been a long day. I only managed to give it a quick wash of the thing and hoover out, but it looks so much better already. Um, yeah, completely run out of time today, so got a lot done soon and had to go on a two mile road trip to pick up. I'll do a quick walk around, just so you can see the difference. I mean, this hasn't been polished or anything yet. Oh, the side door <laughs> is shut, but it's got the biggest gap in the world. Hopefully that'll be fixed in the next couple of days. We've got a huge, got a huge, huge gap. <laughs> the door's shut, but you can barely get it open. It's looking a lot tidier though, isn't it? It's looking way better than it was. I've got loads of parts coming in the next couple of days for it. I've got some new, I've got some new crystal clear indicators. These are obviously clear ones originally, but they've discolored so much. 
I think it's got potential. What do you reckon, guys? I'm not sure I can get that side door open again. I don't think I want to touch it until. I don't really want to touch that side door until I've got the hinges now because it's just driving me mad. But let's, let's have a look in the front actually. It's just had a hoover and that's it, and a quick wipe, a very quick wipe down, but already it's starting to look a bit more presentable in here. I am gonna buy some cleaning products. There you go, it's a slightly better angle on the camera. I'm gonna buy some cleaning products to clean it properly. Probably a carpet for the front soon, in the next couple of days. Replace some of the broken bits like the glove box. It's looking a lot better than it did this morning, I know that much, considering it's the first day that I've got it. Wheels looking a bit clean. Car wash could have done a slightly better job, but it's a good start. What do you think on the back wheel? Them back wheels have got a 20mm spacer on now. I think it was about the right judgement putting 20mm spacers on the back. Wheels look not too bad, so I wouldn't have chosen them wheels, but they don't look bad. 